I am Sarabhip Korsi Duhyal. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is a difference between two types of superconductors that is type 1 and type 2 superconductors and it is a very important topic for BSc, for MSc and even for engineering students. So watch the video till the end. Clear? Yeah? Uh, I will give you 10 differences, 10 or 11 differences. Clear yeah, So let's start. So type difference between type 1 and type 2 superconductors. Okay, ji? Type 1 is also called soft superconductor. It is called soft. I will discuss why we called it soft. And this is called hard superconductor. Hard. Clear yeah, So first difference. Difference first. First, we draw a diagram between or variation of M and H. Yeah, for uh, type 1 and for type 2. What is M? M is called intensity of magnetization. Clear G? And H is called applied magnetic field strength. So, uh, we discuss a variation between M and H for type 1. So, for type 1 superconductors, the graph is like this. Clear G? And for type 2, the graph is like this. Okay, ji? So, uh, what we see in the graph that up to this field at C, up to this field at C, which is called critical field, this type of superconductors have superconducting state. And after that, it suddenly changes to normal state. It suddenly changes to um, normal state and in this type of superconductors uh, type 2 there are two critical fields xc1 and xc2 clear g and uh, up to this xc2 uh, it is not in a normal state after xc2 it is in a normal state between xc1 and xc2 it is in a mixed state and below xc1 it is in a superconducting state so this is the variation between M and H. Here G, Xc1. Xc1 is lower critical field. Is lower critical field. And Xc2 is higher critical field. Okay G? So this is first differences between the graph and second about Misner effect. We know Misner effect. Okay G? What is the difference? These superconductors follows Misner effect strictly. These type type 1, they follow Misner effect strictly. Clear thing? And they do not follow type 2. They do not follow Misner effect strictly. Or we can say they follow Misner effect partially. Okay? And we can or we can say that up to SC1 up to X, uh, sorry, XC, they are in a superconducting state and magnetic flux does not penetrate into a, a superconductor. After that, a magnetic flux penetrates into a, a superconductor. And uh, in this, the magnetic flux penetrates after XC2. After XC2 means it starts penetrating, trying to penetrate uh, at XC1, but fully penetrate at XC2. Clear? Uh, then is the second point. First is about Misner effects. And then is the third point. Sorry. Uh, there is only one critical field. There is only one critical field that is XC. For soft or we can say type 1 superconductors. Uh, at this field at XC critical field. It starts to uh, go into normal state. And in this type of superconductor that is type 2 superconductors there are two critical fields xc1 and xc2 xc1 and xc2 here thing at xc1 xc1 is called lower critical field and xc2 is higher critical field fourth difference is uh, for type 1 superconductors they show perfect diamagnetic behavior for at less than Xc1, Xc, uh, less than Xc, they show 
perfect diamagnetic behavior susceptibility is minus 1 and the normal state at h greater than hc theek hai ji h greater than hc and uh, in this type 2 they show perfect diamagnetic behavior for fields not at hc less than hc1 and normal state above hc2 because they have two critical fields hc1 and hc2 clear ji and next that is a very important and very interesting uh, in type 1 superconductor there are only two states there are only two states that are superconducting state and normal state clear ji there is no mixed state vortex state or intermediate state only two states what are two states superconducting state and normal state and in type 2 superconductors there are three states what are these three states one is this one from this to hc1 this portion this is superconducting as superconducting state theek hai ji and uh, between hc1 and hc2 there is a mixed state mixed state means uh, that is not fully superconducting not fully normal in between clear ji and this mixed state is also called vortex state or intermediate state this mixed state that is mixed state also called vortex state also called intermediate state theek hai ji this question always coming uh, one or two marks question clear what is uh, vortex state theek hai ji and uh, uh, this state is between lower critical field and higher critical field between h h sorry h between hc1 and hc2 clear ji and above hc2 there is normal state so there are three states in type 2 superconductors now the sixth point the graph between h and t for both types of uh, superconductors type 1 and type 2 theek hai ji graph is uh this is superconducting state this is normal state i have also discussed this graph in detail in the previous lectures so for type 1 superconductors the graph is like this and for type 2 superconductors the graph is like this theek hai ji here are three states superconducting at hc1 and uh, then um, this state gap this is a big state then above hc2 this is normal state clear ji so draw it then a uh, transition from a superconducting state to normal state due to external magnetic field or magnetic field strength is sharp and abrupt suddenly abrupt means suddenly changes to superconducting state to normal state clear ji or uh, it changes at hc1 it completely loses superconductivity magnetic flux penetrates and fully penetrates into a superconductor at hc clear see and in this type of superconductor the transition from a superconducting state to normal state ns for normal state ss for superconducting state or scs due to external magnetic field is gradually but not abrupt clear see at hc1 it start losing its superconductivity at hc1 it start losing its superconductivity or we can say magnetic flux starts penetrating just trying to penetrate into a superconductor and uh, at hc2 it completely loses superconductivity so start losing at hc1 and completely loses at superconductivity at hc2 so this between the gap this is a mixed state not fully superconducting not fully normal clear ji then is seventh point the superconductivity loses at very low field very low at very low field it loses its superconducting behavior clear so very less field is required to change it into a normal state to a normal conductor that's why these superconductors are called soft superconductor because very less field is required clear i will tell you with uh, what type of which type of field is required uh, at the last point clear and for these 
लार्ज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रिंग देम टू नॉर्मल स्टेट लार्ज फील्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दे आर कॉल्ड हार्ड सुपर कंडक्टर्स टाइप वन सुपर कंडक्टर्स आर कॉल्ड सॉफ्ट एंड दे आर आल्सो कॉल्ड लो टेम्परेचर सुपर कंडक्टर्स दे आर आल्सो कॉल्ड लो टेम्परेचर सुपर कंडक्टर्स एंड दे आर कॉल्ड एच टी एस हाई टेम्परेचर सुपर कंडक्टर्स ठीक है जी नेक्स्ट नाइन्थ डिफरेंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ टाइप वन सुपर कंडक्टर्स इज नॉट डिस्क्राइब बाय लॉर्डन्स इक्वेशन क्लियर जी एंड द बिहेवियर ऑफ हार्ड सुपर कंडक्टर्स आर एक्सप्लेन बाय लॉर्डन्स इक्वेशन ठीक है जी नेक्स्ट इज टेंथ डिफरेंस बी सी एस थ्योरी can be used to explain these type of superconductors type 1 bcs theory can't be used to explain these type of superconductors theek hai ji then is the 11th difference so due to low critical field because field is very less field is required to change them into a normal state so they have limited technical or practical applications so large field is required to change or convert them to a normal state so they have a wider they have a wider practical or technical applications that is uh, they are used for making superconducting wires clear yeah? uh, and that superconducting wires are used to make high field magnets about 10 tesla tak clear ji and they are used to make high field magnets for what for which are used in particle accelerators fusion reactors and maglev train With uh, magnetic train means wood the train, you know, hold there. Okay, clear. These are practical applications. Now the twelfth, the last difference that is, they are generally pure metals. They are generally pure metals. For example, aluminium, zinc, and mercury also. And the critical field required is very less. That is zero point zero one zero five tesla. And for zinc. 0.0054 tesla theek hai ji so and uh, type 2 they are the generally the alloys and complex sorry mera marker light ho gaya alloys and complex oxide of ceramics and the examples are cuo and the critical field high critical field required for them to convert them into a normal conductor is 150 tesla ठीक है जी एंड बी ए बी आई थ्री एंड फील्ड रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इट इज फिफ्टी नाइन इंटू टू पावर थ्री टेस्ला सो लो फील्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड हाई फील्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट्स वाई दे हैव दे हैव हाई और वाइडर टेक्निकल एप्लीकेशन